Hello. Hopefully everybody had a great weekend. Some of you probably had your extra day off because of Veterans Day, and I know some of the rest of you did not. Um, in any case, you had an Excel test to complete, and the majority of you got that finished, and I will be working on getting that scored for you okay. this week. This week, starting today, we begin Microsoft PowerPoint. You're going to notice if you go to coursework in my MTI that I have opened up all four chapters of PowerPoint that we're going to be working on, um, and you can see the objectives for each one of those. There will not be a test over PowerPoint, but rather a project that you need to do. Um, I will be providing you with more information about that later this week. Um, just to get started today, you're going to notice that you have Chapter 1 PowerPoint. Chapter 1 and 2 are due this Sunday night by 11.55. Um, I think that you're going to find that neither of these presentations is very taxing or very difficult for the majority of you. So I've also opened up PowerPoint Chapter 3 and 4, and you can go ahead and work on those. You know you can work ahead. Um, that way you don't have to worry about crunch time as we get toward the end of the semester. Remember, the semester ends for us at Mitchell Tech in one month. So we will wrap up PowerPoint um, by the end of next week, and then we will be starting Access, and you will have a final exam over Access at the end of the semester. With PowerPoint, um, I'll just go ahead and click on the link for you, and you can see there are no concepts in PowerPoint. We're going to concentrate solely on working with the PowerPoint projects themselves. And so chapter one project, if we go ahead and open that up, you're going to create a presentation from scratch. Um, you're going to have to use particular themes. Um, and I'll talk to you about those themes here in just a minute. You're going to be adding transitions, some timing to those transitions, and then some sound to those transitions. The one thing that you may not be familiar with is how to print a presentation as handouts to either the OpenXPX document writer or as PDFs. So I'm going to show you how to do that in case you're unfamiliar with that. Um, you will be uploading two files, the actual PowerPoint file and then the um, print file that I need to take a look at. In figure one here, you're going to see the information that you're going to type on each slide. Um, and then you can pick the slide layout that you need to use. So I'm just going to open up a completed project. Um, I want you to take a look at the theme. So let's say you're going to create a presentation from scratch. If I just go to new, I come out here to the backstage view. If it tells me to use the wood type theme, then I need to scroll through until I can find wood. Now, I'm not finding wood in my list. Um, oh yes, I am right here. So this is the wood type theme. Um, if you don't have wood type, you could use organic. Um, if you don't have one of those, send me an email so that we can do some investigation as to why you don't have one of those. Um, if you're going to create your presentation, um, chapter one, I believe, asks you to use the wood type theme. If I click on that, it's going to ask me for variants. So if it tells me to use variant 3, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So you're going down in column. So column 1 has 1, 2, column 2 has 3, 4. So I can click on that variant, and then I can just simply click Create to create my slides. So if we look at the slide layout, this first slide layout is called a title slide. So I add a title and whatever the subtitle is. Um, for your remaining slides, you may um, just click on new slide. If I do that, it's going to pull up the next type of slide, which happens to be title and content. So that's how I can go in and add the different information. It's not uncommon as you add slides to your presentation for them to ask you to reuse a slide. So you might have to use the title slide again. Um, it just depends on what you're asked to do in your presentation. If you get into your presentation, Let's say that you created this new presentation and you just picked blank and you get out here and say, oh, I was supposed to pick a variant. If you click on the design tab, you can go find that theme. So we were using the wood theme. If you hover over these, 
you should be able to go in an alphabetical order to be able to find your themes. So I'm going to scroll down here till I get to my wood theme. And then your variants one, two, there's three and four. So I just wanted to point that out to you in case you were unsure. As you're working with transitions, you go to the transitions tab. You can pick the transition that you need. Um, if I choose shape, I could pick an effect as to how I want it to show up. And then this is where you would do your sound. If it told you to apply the applause sound and make it, you know, a minute. And then you could apply that to all of your slides. Once I'm done with my presentation, I need to be able to print that presentation. So I'm going to show you with a different PowerPoint how to go ahead and print your presentation. So I'm going to go to File and choose Print. And then from Print, I'm going to change my printer, click the drop down, and if you don't have Adobe PDF, you may have Microsoft Print to PDF. So if I click on that, and then I choose, I'm going to print all slides, and then I'm going to click the drop down, and it said I needed six slides horizontal. So I go to find six slides horizontal, and it pulls that up for me, and I click print. Then it's going to ask me to give that a title. So whatever your title is, with your initials behind it, and then I'm just going to put six slides. So I know that's my printed one and I'll save that. So now when I go to take a look at that, um, it shows up as this. So when I go to upload my assignment, I need to upload the print file as well as the PowerPoint I created. Now, if you don't have PowerPoint or um, PDF, you can click on File and Print. And because it's a Microsoft product, you should have Microsoft XPS Document Writer. So I can click on that. Again, choose six slides horizontal and then choose print. And again, it will ask me what I want to name it. So again, I will just call it for right now because I don't know the title. Title, my initials, and then six slides. And then I'll save that. And so again, um, when I go to upload that, let me just save that PowerPoint quick. Okay, so this is what the OXPS writer looks like. It's the same thing as a PDF. It's just a larger file size than a PDF. So you should have one of those two, either the Microsoft to PDF or the Microsoft to XPS writer. Either one of them is acceptable. I believe your instruction sheet um, asks you to use the OXPS. I'm fine with PDF. So um, if you have any questions, you know, watching this video is probably the best way to understand how to do that. When I go to upload my files then, it says I have to upload at least two. So I go to choose file and I'm going to upload that PowerPoint that I called title. So I'm going to scroll and find that one first. So I'm going to click on title and open it and insert it and add it. Then I'm also going to go up because it doesn't give me the submit button. I have to put in one more file. So that's my print file. So I'm going to go to choose file and then I'm going to pick my PDF file and click open and insert and then add it. Once I have the two files in here, now I can go ahead and turn in that PowerPoint. So that's just an overview of what you need to do for chapter one and how to print. Um, chapter two is another one. You're just going to be working with spelling and finding and replacing. Your instruction sheet is here. You're going to be creating that one from scratch. If you're going to work ahead on chapters three and four, which you certainly may, we open that one. Notice there is a presentation in here that you are going to be working with. So you have to open that presentation save it according to the instruction sheet, and do the things it asks you to do. And then chapter four is the same way. If you go to chapter four, you are going to see that you have one PowerPoint file, and then you've got a couple of different document files that are showing you screenshots of things that you need to do so that your 
project looks the way it should. So again, if you have any questions on those things, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, I wish everybody a good week and stay warm. Bye.